up. Indeed. Fear in the worst. You know, when I was in the army, fellas would spend all night talking about what they were gonna do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook, or well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh, well, no offense. But you know what every one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army! Okay. Jesus Christ! I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving. And, and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And and if you can tell the difference between a the, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, well, you, the, you that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you. Mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. Nice fire. You know, back when I was in the army, and uh, we was out on patrol, we couldn't light no fires. You see, our captain had a theory. He said a lit fire would just bring the engines on us that much quicker. But the only problem was, no fire brought the wolves on us. <laughs> yes, sir. So there we were at night, either cold and frightened of the wolves or warm and frightened of the Indians. And I could never figure out what frightened me more. All right, I know what you boys are thinking, but I don't frighten that easy. You know what, why don't you try yourselves a couple nights out on that prairie? Surrounded by savages trying to eat you alive, and we'll see who the real man is. That's all I'm saying. You can't blame a man for his honesty. Damn engines. <laughs> the horse. You mind if I sit? <sighs> you know, when I, I first met Dutch, when I first met many of you, I had just left the army. A and it wasn't on a case of no dishonorable discharge like I'm sure some of you have heard around here, but it was by mutual consent on the account of our differing opinions, or that's how the that's how the captain put it. Differing opinions. The army, they had their opinion, and I had mine. We was equals, but we went our separate ways. Now me, I I spent a few nights sleeping rough. I admit. I uh, I. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> I, 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 I was robbed. I, <laughs> I, I was robbed by someone I was a, well, you know well. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, no, it, it was a woman. It was I, I was robbed by a woman. And and then I met Dutch. Now, unlike some of you vagrants and vagabonds and orphans and murderers. I've seen what Uncle Sam can do up close. Uh-huh. Um, nothing will make you believe in a man like Dutch more than seeing what power can... what power can do to a captain in the U.S. Army. I mean, it... 
It, it, it corrupts a man. It corrupts a man totally. But I, I believe in Dutch. I know, I know. Dutch is Dutch. But I, I believe in him where, where he talks, I walks. And, and that's the way it's gonna be. And it was a woman. I see you chuckling. Was you a military man, uh, Mr. Williamson? Sure was. Cavalry. That's so. Sure. Oh, real impressive. Always impressed by, by folks who, who make sacrifices. Well, thank you. My pleasure. And was you a military man, Morgan? Nope. I thought maybe you was in espionage or something. Always sneaking about, covert-like. <laughs> Good chatting, Bill. <clears throat> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys gotta prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Won't you never leave love aside, Arthur? It's all we got. 